Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. And today I wanted to pop on, talk about how do I know if my hormones are balanced? You know, this is a question a lot of women get um, and they feel like this is one of those things that makes women's crazy. Makes women's crazy? Yeah, this is what I'm talking tonight, by the way. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> a lot of stuff going on today, clearly, cause that's okay. This is gonna get better, I promise. Just keep watching, it's gonna get better. <laughs> So many women struggle with their hormones. So many women feel like their hormones are a problem. And yet a lot of women are ugh, kind of left wondering, okay, what is really the answer? And, and here is why women struggle so much because they will feel like they're not, you know, something changed, something's different. I'm not having the energy that I once had or that I know I could have. What's the, what's the deal? And they'll even go in and get their hormones tested. And sometimes it says, your hormones are within normal limits. Uh, then what? Thyroid is a perfect example of this. A lot of women will feel like, you know what? I am having all these thyroid symptoms. I am having all these issues. I am having like the hair loss, the lack of energy, the fatigue. Those are two different things, by the way, lack of energy and fatigue because um, they affect you differently. Uh, my metabolism is slowed down. It's affecting my other hormones, my female hormones. Stress is really different. You know, what is going on? And they'll be like, you know, I feel like it's thyroid, right? Like you'll feel like there's something internally that's saying this is a thyroid issue. Yet you go get your thyroid hormones checked and they're like, oh, look, it's normal. And you're like, I don't feel normal though. I don't feel normal. What is going on? And the tough thing with this is, is that a lot of women can get diagnosed with what is called a sluggish thyroid. It's not an official diagnosis, but that's what the, they get told. Oh, it's just a sluggish thyroid. Or clinically it's fine, which means your blood test says it's within these ranges. So there's not a lot that they're gonna do. Not a lot that they can do, right? They, you know, mean like put you on a medication or something, cause that's what a lot of women naturally go towards. Um, you know, I just had a podcast release. Uh, my podcast is called the female health solution. Uh, and I just had a podcast release where I interviewed, um, a gal that specializes in working with women with thyroid and other issues. And again, it's all about that's, you know, it's not, your body is not designed to function, um, in a wrong way. It's designed to function at its highest level all the time. So if that's not happening, there's something interfering and you just got to get it back to that, right? Makes sense, right? So there's a lot of different things you can do. I help women, you know, a lot of times it's with nutrition, sometimes exercise guidance. Um, sometimes I talk about supplements, right? And getting the right things into your body at the right time so your body functions like it should. But a lot of women will just, they, they feel stuck and frustrated, right? If you're getting um, issues, you know, day after day after day and you're feeling like, okay, I, I know that there's something wrong with my hormones. My cycle is all over the place. My hormones are all over the place. You know, I, even though I'm in, I'm in perimenopause and I have no idea what's happening, right? You know, and maybe sometimes you'll go in and ask. You know, I had this happen for me. This is part of my story that my, I had cysts, horrible cysts after my third um, baby was born. And the only option they gave me for my hormones was birth control, the pill. I'm not a candidate for other kinds of birth control. Um, so that was like literally my only option. And I was like, uh, I don't, I get a lot of side effects. Is there any other, like, what else can we do? Like, why are my hormones like, you know, crazy all over the place? And they really didn't have a good answer for me. And they didn't have an answer for me because they didn't, they were like, no, we just, this is, these are our options. This is what we have to give you. And I was like, well, I'm going to find something else. And that's really where I created, you know, everything that's in my book, the female fat solution eating for your hormones, eating for your cycle, eating for your body. Um, so I'm actually doing, I did a webinar on Sunday. I'm doing a replay of it, or I'm doing another webinar on Thursday. Thursday at, it's going to be um, 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Mountain, 8 a.m. Pacific. There's all the times. Thursday morning. So 10 a.m. Central. I live in Minnesota, so I'm in Central Time. 10 a.m. Central. I am doing a webinar. I will put the link for that webinar below this video. So if you are feeling like, yes, I am, I don't know where to go with my hormones. I don't, I feel like I'm lost. 
watch this webinar. I'm going to be doing a deep dive into female hormones and how they should function. And I'm going to be talking about some of the stuff in my book. I'm going to be talking about so many other things for women um, that you can get started with right away. So you do not want to miss this webinar. So I'm going to, I'm going to put that link below. It's free. Yep. Oh, good question. Um, how do you know if you're eating for your hormones? Yes. Well, Tina, watch the webinar. <laughs> we'll dive into it. Warming and cooling everything. Um, this is going to be an amazing, amazing webinar where I teach so much more than what I do on my regular videos. So that's, and I, and I do this because women really need this information. Women really need this different viewpoint of how to take action for themselves. So many of us feel like we're stuck, frustrated, not knowing where to turn next, and we're not given good answers. I was there. I was there just so frustrated and doing everything possible, like grasping, grasping at random things, right? And then feeling like, okay, this isn't working. This isn't working. I was taking, I'm not lying. I had, it was a white basket. It was a white plastic basket from Target. It even had like the little gray, because and I'm sure you can picture what I'm talking about, like little gray, like little handle things on the ends. Um, I had that white basket in my pantry and it was filled with supplements. There were over 30 bottles that I would take every day. It would take me 20 minutes. You know, I would, I would unload, you know, sometimes I would like sort of prep my vitamins for the day and I'd put them in baggies and I would just take the bag, right? 30 to 40, 35 to 40 supplements every day, every day. And guess what? It wasn't working. It, and I did this at, for a year and a half. I struggled. And it wasn't until I started doing the things I'm going to talk about in the webinar, really easy, really simple, but just aligning with where my body was supposed to be at and really respecting the difference that it, that it makes when you start working with your body, um, that I started seeing and feeling results. And I've not had cysts or problems since then. Um, now of course, like everybody has stress or so there's other things that I manipulate my nutrition for, um, you know, I play women's tackle football now. So I focus on being a certain, uh, having a certain muscle mass for that, um, right now, but you know, that's not, you know, something I need to have all the time, you know, just when I'm really prepping for football. But I mean, these are things that I can take into consideration and be in charge of right? These are things that I get to, so I'm, I'm driving the bus here in terms of my health, my nutrition and everything. But a lot of women are not in that position. You feel like you're, you know, you're just sitting there and it's just taking you and you can't change it. So this, in this webinar, you're going to learn all these tools, tactics, um, about what to do. And you're going to learn why you're going to learn why this is happening and the steps to take to take care of it. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. This is something that I chat with women all the time. They feel like, oh, my hormones. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, <laughs> and it's, I get it. I totally get it. So I'm really excited to jump into this and to dive into um, nutrition for your hormones. Again, Thursday, 10 a.m. Central. So it's 11 Eastern, 10 Central, 9 Mountain, 8 Pacific is going to be the webinar. If you, even if you're like, Ooh, I'm not sure I can make that time enroll, enroll for the webinar, because if for some reason you miss it or can only see, listen to part of it at one time, you'll get the replay of it. So, and this is something I'm going to be diving, diving, diving in. Um, Lisa's got a, a question. Oh, this is a long question. Okay. Lisa's question is before I go to bed, I have a question. <laughs> I've asked other people this question, but haven't gotten a response. Um, I've been back in the gym for a while and I'm struggling with coming up with a healthy meal plan to help me shed. I'm, I'm thinking that says shed stubborn belly fat and build lean muscle. My stubborn belly fat makes me look, um, like I'm about two months pregnant. Help me please. 35 years old, weigh 122 pounds, want to be healthier. Um, want to be a healthier 122 pounds. I eat too much junk food and not enough healthy stuff. Ooh. Okay. This is such a good question. Okay. So here's the, here's the big thing. And here's the big answer is that if you're getting back into the gym, if you're starting up a routine like this again, um, it's a different stressor on your body and you got to match your nutrition with where your body's at. Being 35, uh, is very different from being 25, you know, 
being 35 is different. It's just different, right? A lot, like when you're 25, you can like, st I stopped eating dessert for a week and I lost 10 pounds. But when you're 35 or 45, it, it doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> you need, need, need to address these changes in your body. Um, so part of it is going to be really focusing on the right nutrition for your hormones, for your system, and really honoring that. The other part of that in terms of building lean muscle is you need to get in the right amount of protein. That's the number one nutrient I find women miss. So in terms of building lean muscle, you need to get in the protein and at the right time. And I'll be covering this in the webinar because there's different times of the month with your different hormones that your body can build lean muscle easier and faster. Mm -hmm. And then other times of the month, your body, it's, it's tougher. It's, it's a lot tougher. So um, yes, but that's going to be a major thing. Protein. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great, great question. Yeah. So I'll put that link below right now. Sign up for the webinar. Again, even if you don't catch it live, watch the replay and you will get all the answers, especially to that question. Cause that's a, that's a really good question. All right. That's what I got for you guys tonight. Thanks for staying tuned. If you know somebody that could use this message, please, 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 um, share this with them. Cause I would so love and appreciate you helping me on my mission of educating more women on things they can do on their own, empowering women to know what to do with their nutrition, to really be in charge of their own health. All right. I will see you guys later.